Hey guys, S of Danger Close here, and today I'll be bringing you a review on the EOTech 552 clone. The uh, reason I have a clone is because uh, I'm too poor to afford the real, real EOTech, which costs about $450, which is uh, quite a lot of money. Money which I don't have to spend on a scope. Anyway, without any further ado, let's jump in to the review. Hmm, see what I did there? It rhymed. Uh, right, anyway. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, the uh, largest scope in the uh, holographic range that EOTech do. Uh, partly because it takes uh, AA, two AA batteries as opposed to CR batteries or any button cells. Uh, AA batteries, which are here in the front, uh, can be accessed by lifting this lever here. Uh, uh, replaced, put in back in their case, which is supposedly waterproof. Uh, this one isn't. I'll just uh, just put that out there now. The the case is supposed the actual site itself is supposedly waterproof to 33 feet. Uh, this isn't. So if you do buy a clone, don't go take it through the water and uh, unless you want to buy a new one afterwards, because uh, it won't survive. Because uh, there's a hole there. Uh, straight there's holes around this ceiling here, which is uh, coincidentally right where the lasers is. Laser is. Uh, and I'm last time I checked, lasers don't like water. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, other features of this is you get an aluminum... Aluminum? Oh, I'm not American. Aluminium cover around the um, uh, around the actual uh, site itself uh, to protect, obviously, because this is glass here and here on either side, to protect that from being crushed, so it makes it more durable. Uh, all the good stuff that you do want out of a uh, sight, which you're going to be uh, on top of your gun, which is uh, going to be thrown around a lot. Not that you're deliberately throwing your gun at people, because that's just retarded. But um, uh, other features is a uh, quick release. Uh, nut. Fucking hell. Other features, sorry, is a quick release nut right here, uh, which has a, a, a like a grooves in, on the outside, so it can be. Uh, taken off uh, and applied quickly uh, without the use of a uh, screwdriver or alternatively you can get your screwdriver and you can uh, tighten it up all the way so that um, so that it's not going to come off at all uh, if that's what you want. Uh, on the other side we have two more, two more screws. Uh, this one here being uh, for the uh, levitation uh, or opposite of levitation. Uh, and then this for removing your reticule side to side so you can tune your scope in. Obviously that's something you're going to want to do otherwise your bullets aren't going to go where you're aiming. Now, to turn the sight on, uh, which is obviously quite important, uh, you either push this where it says on, but you can push this one as well because for some reason it still works. So we're going to push this one here. Uh, and the sight's, there we go, the sight's going to come on. Uh, I'm trying to cover it up, uh, but, but it's not very clear at all. Uh, I'll tell you what I might do actually, see if this works. There you go. Uh, so basically that's what your reticule looks like. Uh, it's a uh, red or green, which just about you can just about see. Uh, partially because that's for night vision, so uh, that's why it's so dull. Uh, while I'm on the topic, yeah, this site will work with night vision uh, because it has the green reticule, which obviously won't uh, show up as a giant blur in your night vision goggles or whatever you're using so uh, when you're not using night vision you'll be using that which uh, which can be adjusted obviously on the side and the brightness can be adjusted by these two uh, arrows here obviously down being for less bright uh, and up being for more bright obviously when you turn when you're turning your uh, brightness down it flash to let you know obviously that, that it's working until you hit the uh, as dull as you can go, which is that, or as bright as you can go, which is quite bright. There you go. That's how bright you can go. Obviously, the brighter it is, the more battery it's going to use. Uh, While well, I'm on battery life, uh, lithium batteries it supposedly will work last for one hour. Um, Alkaline will last for about six six hour six hundred hours. Did I say a thousand hours or did I say one hour? Lithium will last last for a thousand hours. Uh, Outline will last for six hundred hours. Uh, of, uh, and 
I'm not sure about this, but the real uh, EOTech has a uh, auto off feature after I think it's about eight hours. Uh, so uh, so you don't waste battery life. Um, to turn the uh, site off, uh, you just hold these two together and it turns off. Um, now other things that you can get for this that I haven't got are, uh, well I had but I lost, uh, is a cover that goes over the top here uh, to cover the two glass panels here, obviously why it's not in use so you don't get them scratched or smashed. Uh, I, I don't have that now otherwise I'll be showing it to you. Uh, fortunately mine, I don't know what happened to mine, I lost it when I went airsoft in. Uh, but I mean, it's not necessary because uh, it's, it's quite. It's, it's it's not as if like you're going to be able to easily get something in there to smash it unless it gets shot out. In which case, you're not going to have the cover over because you're going to be using it. Uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, basic uh, basically to fit on uh, any uh, twenty mil uh, rail that you've got. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah, it should. Uh, yeah, may it fit on a rail. Don't know where I was going with that. Um, yeah, this is a laser product which uh, did have a sticker above the that was telling you that I took it off because it was a horrible yellow colour and it looked nasty. But it's a laser product. So don't if you are uh, looking to laser whites on. Well, obviously you've got to look down the side, but don't look. Try and don't deliberately try and look in the laser unless you're a complete muppet and want to go blind or whatever. Um, other than that. Uh, the uh, this cover here can be removed with uh, Torx uh, Torx bits. Uh, I'm not sure what size they are, so you'll have to look that up if you want to remove the cover. Hit this uh, metal cover, obviously, to change the colour of it or uh, to do as you will with it. Uh, I'm not sure why you'd want to take it off unless you're changing it for a different one that's a different colour. But there you go. Uh, I can't really think of any more features of this now. Uh, but yeah. Well, I could tell you how much I got this one for actually. This, uh, as opposed to costing about 400 quid, cost me about 50 pounds from uh, eBay, which they still sell for now. I got mine about God, almost two years ago now, um, but uh, they still sell for about 50 pounds, the clones, uh, unless you want to buy a real one, which obviously if you've got a real gun, don't buy a clone because it probably isn't strong enough to uh, take the uh, recoil, it probably lasts for a while but it's not up to the same quality that EOTech's actual sights are so uh, if you've got a real gun, buy a real scope um, other than that, uh, it has been one of the best sights I've used on an airsoft gun uh, most accurate, um, doesn't need... I, had, I did have a reflex sight which needed tuning so much uh, uh, after one game of airsoft in I had to uh, I had to spend about like half an hour tuning it back in because it just I didn't even drop the gun or knock the gun at all it just uh, it, the uh, me running around with the gun just uh, uh, took the uh, took the um, I don't remember what it is it basically made the sight shit and I couldn't use it uh, uh, yeah, but this this is uh, this is uh, hasn't had to been retuned since I first got it. Uh, obviously, I've been using it on the same gun, otherwise I would have to retune it. But uh, it's uh, one of the best sites, well, the best site I've ever uh, owned, uh, and uh, I completely 100% recommend it. Uh, I'll put a link to buy it in the description somewhere. Uh, other than that. Uh, this has been SF Danger Close review on the uh, EOTech 552 clone. Uh, make sure to uh, like and favourite and comment and all that stuff if you like the video. Uh, and uh, until next time, this has been SF Danger Close. See you all later.